Hey guys, it's Lori. I skipped out on you yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> no big deal. But today is, let's see, P3, day 18, and I'm checking in for days 17 and 18. It's just been super busy right now. We're in the middle of baseball tournaments, so I just have not had the chance to get on. I was going to get on after I was done working today, but I was so dang hot, I just didn't even feel like it. <laughs> I was all sweaty and nasty looking. Now I'm not any better now. I just got, you know, home from the baseball, and it's like so humid here right now. It's crazy. Anyway, Chase had a home run tonight, too. It was pretty cool. Brennan pitched two no-hitters, and in the next inning, or I guess he pitched three innings, and his first one he pitched uh, wasn't a no-hitter, but he walked one person. But anyway, his last two innings were no-hitters. Pretty cool. Just had to brag a little. Sorry. <laughs> well, no, I'm not sorry. Anyway, uh, let me give you my stats real quick. Okay. Um, Yesterday, I was down 0.4, and um, let me tell you what I ate. Well, the day before, I just like ate the same stuff I've been eating. Um, yesterday, I ate, I had an early lunch yesterday. I got hungry a little earlier than I usually do, so I ate celery with some peanut butter on it. And then about 4 o'clock, before we went to the baseball game, I had made some pork chops. And they're, they're those little, thin little boneless pork chops. They're not very big. Probably, I'm going to say they're probably like three ounces. They're not very big. But I ate one of those with a salad with some Colby cheese and ranch dressing on it. And I had, uh, after the game, I had another salad with cheese and ranch. And I had some faye with strawberries. And sometime during the day, I had a Cali kicker. And I did have my iced coffee at the ball game. I really like that. Um, oh, and I want to tell you, that those pork chops were so good. I cooked them with a little bit of olive oil and some red wine vinegar and this seasoning right here I want to show you. It's um, McCormick Grill Mates and it's called, what's it say? Steakhouse Onion Burger. Can you see that? Steakhouse Onion Burger with garlic. I don't think you can see it very well. I don't think it focused real good. But it is really good. And it's got salt, garlic, onion, spices including black pepper, paprika, yeast extract, green onion, and natural flavor. That's what's in it. So this is some good stuff. It's really good. McCormick Grill Mates Steakhouse Onion Burger with Garlic. So anyway, I put that on my pork chops along with the uh, olive oil and red wine vinegar. Man, was it good. They were delicious. So anyway, that's what I had yesterday. And today, oh wait, yeah, that's all I had yesterday. Today I was down one pound. So I'm at 121.0 today. I'm 0.4 below my LIW. So on day 18, in three days, I'm stable. I'm, I'm so happy about that because this P3 is just going so well. It really is. I mean, granted, I haven't added in, like, I haven't had any pork rind pizza or I haven't had any gyro plain fudge or you know there's a lot of things I haven't added in yet just because I've been so busy that I've just been trying to keep it quick and easy and you know and I just haven't taken time to make stuff like that I've been having chocolate delight but I made when I made chocolate delight I made like two big batches and put them in the freezer and I haven't been pigging out on it I've just I just made it so I'd have it up ahead of time I got it in containers in the freezer but anyway I just haven't been getting overly creative, but I have been, you know, cooking what I've been cooking. has been a, a big variety of things. It's just I haven't done anything that takes a lot of time with baseball and stuff going on right now. So anyway, um, today, let's see. I've had, um, I had a serving of almonds in the late morning and at noontime. I, well, I only had one job today. My, my second job canceled. So, um, when I got home, I had my little container of sunflower seeds that I take with me, and I ate maybe half of that at the most. Then um, late supper, after the game, well, no, wait, before the game, I had some celery with peanut butter. Then, so I had like a lot of, I was kind of nutty today, almonds, sunflower seeds, and celery with peanut butter, but that's okay. Anyway, um, late supper, buffalo, ranch, chicken meatballs with celery and some a little bit of blue cheese and ranch mixed together, a salad with some uh, ranch dressing and the rest of my sunflower seeds on it. I did have a big iced coffee at the ball game, and I did not do a Cali kicker today because I forgot. And by the time I remembered, it was too late to do a Cali kicker because they give me too much energy. And I, 
I'm already kind of wired because of the iced coffee and just, I don't know, my boys are just acting crazy and they've just got me like wired. So anyway, oh, I forgot to tell you too. The other day when I went to Aldi's, I did my car vlog, told you I went to Aldi's. I got those laundry bins. I really like those laundry bins too. They really fit just perfect. They're perfect. Anyway, I want to show you. Got it right here. I got a rotating Belgian waffle maker. Kitchen living. I don't know if it's any good or not. Obviously haven't even opened the box yet, so we'll see. This sucker was $12.99 at Aldi's. I'm thinking for $12.99, yeah, I'm going to buy this. John bought it for me, but don't tell him. All right, so anywho, I got a little something I need to say, and I wrote it down because I don't want to leave anything out. I have an issue, and it's about the Vloggers Unite page, okay, the Facebook page. Um, there's people that are bidding us a fond farewell that I feel are still very much a part of our family or community, whatever you want to call it. And uh, even if you're not vlogging as much, maybe if you're even if you're only vlogging once in a blue moon, you know, if you have a channel full of HCG vlogs and you're still an active part of the community or trying to be, you know, people get busy, um, whether it's via blogging or supporting people, commenting, you know, or just genuinely interested, then I see absolutely no reason for you to be bidding us a fond farewell on the Facebook page. I don't see any reason for that. I took the whole post about the house cleaning uh, to be directed at the ones that are just done, no longer interested, moving on with life. Um, or maybe, you know, we do have some members that have really never been active. And if you, if you don't want to be there anymore for any reason, you know, you're just moving on with life or whatever, you know, that's, I took it as meaning those people that just really don't, have any interest in it anymore. And as for the members being added, the members adding people, I should say, um, if you're adding somebody, I hope that you are checking first to make sure they're vloggers. And um, by the same token, I guess the administrators need to um, double check that, confirm it too, before they, they approve it. And if not, if, if they're not a, a vlogger, then, you know, it wouldn't be a big issue to just, you know, give them a friendly explanation as to why they're being denied access to the page. But, you know, I just, I just hate to see some of these people that are saying, you know, okay, I'm done, take me off. It's like, really? Because I thought you were still pretty active. But, you know, I don't know. It's just bothering me that we're losing some people on that page. And it's like, I don't know, I feel like they're being pushed out of the community somehow. And I know it wasn't meant that way at all. But I think some people maybe are taking it that way. And I don't think that's the way it was meant. So anyway, I just wanted to get that out of my system because I, I really am bothered by it. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. So, okay. See ya.